Hi guys, let's continue at where we left off. So we're going to be including something called an event listener. So an event li listener is something like if I tapped on the screen, it would tell the phone that I've tapped on the screen. If I double tapped on the screen, it would send that message to the phone. If I swiped on the screen, if I did anything on the screen, basically it would send the information to the phone. So we require this for interactivity between the ball and the slider. So let's go ahead and include that. So the event listener we need is for the slider. So the code is fairly basic. Okay, so let me explain this code to you. So, in the, we're gonna start it off with whatever UI object you're adding the event listener to, add a period, and then we write add event listener, and then we're gonna open and close the round brackets. The first parameters we're gonna be giving there is change. So what change essentially means when there is a change in the value of the slider, it's going to trigger this event listener. So let's say I change the value of the slider uh, or I slid the slider from the, from the right to the left, it's going to trigger this event listener. And what is function E? It's uh, just include that in your code right now. You'll understand as we progress with this tutorial. Okay. So now we'll, we'll ask the event listener what the value of the slider was changed to. And I forgot to include this here. We're going to be creating a new variable called slider value. And we'll keep it equal to zero. Now we'll change the value of the variable to whatever the new value of the slider is. It's a little complicated now, but we'll get to it. And let's put this to e dot value. Okay, this all looks a little weird, I agree. So let me break this down for you. So we're changing the value of this variable called slider value to e dot value. What the hell is e? e is this right here, this small letter there. So I could change it to apple here and I could change e to apple here it would really wouldn't make a difference it's just what the variable it's just what the variable is called it's a sort of a temporary variable which is valid only within these parentheses but all programmers use this as e so i'm going to do the same call it e and we're going to ask it what the value of e is the value of e is the extent up to which the slider the value of the slider okay and now i'm going to introduce you to something called as a function so we'll continue off with this part a little later i agree it's getting a little confusing but it'll all fall into place at the end Okay, so we've created a function called change value and we've got to open and close round brackets and open and close parentheses. 
so let's put some code into here okay so let me break this uh, all down for you so so what does this do basically so we've created this function called change value and what this essentially does is it changes the width and the height of the circle or the ball to whatever the value of the slider is times 20 that that's because the value of the slider is between 5 and 10 and if we entered the height is between 0 and 10 i'm sorry if the, we entered the width at as 5 the ball would be really small and we wouldn't be able to see it and now let us call this function what the what call the function basically means is that we will ask the function to start to begin so we will ask this function to start every time the value of the slider is changed okay and let's run that and see how it works once run this is let, let me just run that again this is how it's gonna look like okay the ball is getting a little pixelated as we move further but if you observe at the beginning the ball isn't pixelated at all if I move the slider a little back and then I increase the width up to that same point, it's looking a little pixelated. So I'm going to give you a fix for that. One more thing I added in this code is math.round and we entered e.value within that. If I did not have math.round, the uh, shape of the circle would become the sh a square basically. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to fix this blurriness of the ball in one line of code. Okay, one second. okay so what this basically does is as soon as the value of the slider is changed it will set the image of blue circle back to the blue odd it's a little confusing but it solves the problem As you can see, now we have no pixelation at all. Okay, thanks for watching. Please like this video if it helped you. Be sure to subscribe for further videos and I'll see you next time.